Now, one question I'm getting a lot is, I've created your design. How do I get rid of that white box? And the second question that I'm getting a lot is, why is there a border around my box? So in this video, I'm going to tell you or show you how to deal with two, those two issues. So stay tuned. All right, now here is the original design that I created in that other video. I will link that other video in the comments section so that you can go to it if you want to create something like this. But there is a white box here, kind of like a clipping mask. And if we um, increase the size, we're going to notice that there is this black border around it. And so one of the questions that I, I get is, how do I get rid of that border around it? Now, we created that border when we clicked on the box and we went into edit and we selected the shadow option. Now, obviously, if you don't want a shadow, then you can come back in here and say no shadow and that will remove the shadow and that will solve your issue. And then you can just crop that box to a place where you like it. But if you do want that shadow uh, on the text, then you would select the outline option. And of course, when you select the outline option, it's going to go make the size very, very large, and you're going to want to decrease it to a size that you like. And I'll leave it like that. And But again, we have this border going around it. To remove that border, just crop that box and bring it as far up as you can to the text. And that will remove that border. Now, the second question that I get asked a lot is with using this technique, how do I remove this white box? Because I want to put it on a t-shirt and I can't put it on a t-shirt with this white box. So for example, if I change the color to green, we notice that there is this white box. So here is the solution to that. Number one, choose a colored background that doesn't have that color in your image. So for example, I can use green because I don't have green in this image anywhere. And now I'm going to take that white box and I'm going to go back into edit. I'm going to go back into duotone and I'm going to change the color to green by grabbing the dropper and selecting a green part on my background. And I'm going to do the same thing with the highlights. I'm going to select the highlights, grab my eyedropper and change it to green. And that has now changed my white box to green. And now what we're going to do is and I'm just going to make that a little bit larger because you can see the white from the eagle there. So I just want to make it a little bit larger too, so that we're not seeing that white part. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go to share. We're going to go to download and we're going to download this page as a PNG. And I only want page one. So I'm just going to select page one. I'm going to say done and I'm going to download. And now I'm going to create a new page and I'll change the background of this page to white. And I'll bring that image back into my design. So here it is with the green background. And simply once it's finished downloading, just go into BG Remover and remove the background. And that's how you're going to get rid of that background. So now if I change the background to a different color. Let's say I change it to blue. We can see that it is totally transparent. Let me just close this and make this larger so that you can see. And that's how we get rid of that white box. Now, if a part of your image was removed by accident, you can always go back into BG Remover and press this restore button and restore a part of the image that you need back in your design. This might be a little bit tedious, but it can work for you. If you learned anything in this tutorial or you want to see anything else, please press that like button, press that subscribe, turn notification bells on and leave me a comment down below 
what you want to see next. And if you want to learn more about Canva, join my YouTube channel membership. I go live every week. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye until next time.